Hi guys, my name is Jazz and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I discuss everything fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. And today we're gonna be talking about spring trends for 2021, fashion spring trends. I've already started shopping. Um, I've already been buying some things. You're gonna see a few, a few hauls in the next few weeks because I am over winter, I'm out of it. If you guys are shopping or buying anything for winter, like literally if it's the dirt cheap, stop. We're shopping for spring summer but spring first so i want to talk to you guys about what's trending for spring what i have seen when i've been shopping and what you should be buying what's worth it what's not just to kind of get ready and just get ready so you don't have you stay ready you don't have to get ready um but yes if you want to see what's trending for spring and what you should buy stay tuned first thing that i've been seeing that's trending for spring like and i don't know if it's because like last year 2020 was such a doomed <laughs> year but is bright colors like bright like i'm talking bubblegum pink i'm talking about like bright red like orange and i'm here for it i've like i've been into brights because like usually like in my life like when i used to freelance and work for makeup i wore like black like all the time and like now i'm sprucing in some color like even this is like a good color for spring that's trending right now so all about the brights wearing brights, oranges, blues, and even better yet, like with the brights that are trending for spring is color blocking. So you will see in Zara, like I went to Zara Soho this weekend and like they have things like kind of paired together like bubblegum pink with like red and like kind of like different kind of um, colors that you should be wearing and blocking together, which I'm here for. It takes me back. Like I remember the whole color blocking trend was in and like that was all I wore, like color block, color block. I probably think it was like, six probably like seven to eight years ago but that has come back around um and even like the pastel color like purple has come in and that's almost like a neutral color for this spring so i'm here for the brightness i think i i'm just here for color and just happiness like i'm excited to wear it like everything i've probably bought from zara this past week besides a few things has been like bright colors so i'm excited for that um I just love like how like chocolate girls and everybody looks in bright colors. I'm, I'm here for it. So that's the number one trend that I'm seeing for spring. So I just talked about wearing like the bright colors and how they're super popular for spring and color blocking, but neutrals and kind of monochrome and wearing like cream whites and neutral tans and like, you know, kind of pairing them together to kind of get in that like sleek look is trending for spring. That's like my number one thing to wear. I love white. Like white is like my favorite color. Like he's like, what's your favorite color? I'm like white creams. I love that. So kind of even wearing like monochrome looks where you're wearing your white and your creams together um, with like your cream bag and just kind of having that monochrome neutral look is trending for spring. Um, I have to, I can't wait for you guys to see like the things I got from Zara this weekend, but like I got a cute like, like little neutral set, but I'm not gonna talk about that. But anyways, like neutral sets, neutral colors, um, creams, whites, hands are trending for spring you will see that all over H&M like those colors you'll see them on mango you'll see them on Zara and any like any trending um site um that you may shop on um but like I love that that's probably like I like the brightness but like the neutrals I feel like are the most more wearable because you can kind of wear neutral colors with anything you know what I mean like whether you want to take your neutral colors and wear it with your color box stuff you can do that as well so I'm definitely excited about that. So this trend has been all over one way. Like I saw it on like Laquan Smith and like some other designers is the cutouts. Like if you look, like if you're shopping, and again, whether it's fast fashion, like high street, like you'll see like cutouts and everything, like dresses with cutout in the middle, like a dress with a cutout in the back, like tops with cutout here, like it's all about cutouts. So like, you know, I've been in the gym cause like things are cut out <laughs> this season and I can't wait to like, wear it but definitely cut out dresses like if you're shopping H&M H&M specifically even like the midi dresses they have like cut out stomachs and like it's cute it's sexy and I'm here for it and I'm excited to wear it because I love a good cut out like I love to show my shoulders I love to show my midriff I love things like that it's like sexy cute but that's all over this season so there are a lot of things like that are trending this season for spring that were trending last year like the whole flowy dresses like the baby doll dresses one of my friends called like the cupcake the cake dress <laughs> that's all over this season now like i'm excited about this trend because like during quarantine like the chances i did get to peep my head out like i wore dresses like this and they were so 
comfortable. Like it was like, you know, cause it's not tight in your stomach. It's so forgiving. Like if you're bloated, whatever you got going on, it's hidden, but you can still make it cute where you can dress it up with sandals or you can like dress it up with sneakers. I love the whole sneaker kind of like dressed up, but like dressed down. I think if anything we've learned from the pandemic, like we want to be comfortable, but we also want to be cute. But this is definitely trending for this season specifically in like white and neutral colors. Like they're all over. Like you can get one from like everywhere. Like I'm so excited I don't have to buy anymore because I have so many from last season. But this is definitely trending for spring. I'll be honest, like this next trend, I kind of don't like it. <laughs> so the dad sandal. Um, of course, like Chanel has like these, these really pretty like Ch Chanel like dad sandals, like with the strap and like they're like they were trending last year and they're trending again this year, and I don't like it, but it's trending. So if you kind of like that style, go for it. Um, of course, if you want something on the higher designer tip, you can go for the Chanel ones that are like always sold out, which are about like thirteen hundred. But like fast fashion sites, I've seen them on Mango, I've seen them on ASOS. You can pick if you want to try the trend and you don't want to invest too much. Definitely try, try it out. Like my foot is like very narrow. So something that like that flat and will just look awful on me. So I don't like it, the trend, but when I see it on other people, I'm like, oh my God, that's so cute. So that's definitely trending um, for this season, as well as like the slide in sandals. Of course, you know, Bottega Veneta like is still running things um, and trends. Um, they have their Lidl sandal, but there's so many other ones that you can pick up like that are less expensive from like Steve Madden. Um, I love these pink ones from um, Mark Fisher. These are really pretty, like whatever color. Again, brights are in, so I definitely wanna pick these up in like pink or like a neutral color, but the slide in trend. And I definitely have some, like, I feel like this summer I'm gonna be wearing things that I had bought for quarantine. Like I was doing hauls and like literally we were locked down. So I'm gonna be wearing a lot of things that I bought <laughs> last year. So I have a lot of those slide in sandals. But again, that's trending again for this season and I love that how comfortable they are. I don't like the dad sandal, but you guys are so cute. You know, you guys, I know you guys could pull it off if you can. My foot is just too narrow and it's just like weird for me. And I'll have like spaces on the side. So that trend is not for me. But also, um, shout out to Simply Cora. We were talking about like the Gucci slides, um, slide and platforms that are trending. You know, you know, I, don't, I put that in the bag. So you'll see <laughs> those soon, but that's trending as well. Um, so definitely look out for those shoes sure who said this and like why they said this but like are skinny jeans out like let me know in the comments like are skinny jeans not a thing like I find myself now that that was said that I don't really wear skinny jeans but it's not because somebody on TikTok said it so let me know in the comments or if skinny jeans are out or should we like burn them like I'm keeping my skinny jeans but anyways this season is all about the wide leg pant like I love wide leg jeans um I love them I feel like they're a great style um, they're trending for this season as well as kind of like the dad pant like, trouser, which is almost like a loose, very comfortable trouser. I still can't find a good dad pant. Um, I see some on ASOS that I like, but then like the reviews were horrible. So I was like, okay, like I'm not gonna get those, but definitely like the wide leg. So if you go on any site, like everything is wide leg, whether it's wide leg crops, wide leg jeans, like if you guys want to see how to style wide leg jeans, let me know in the comments or give this video a thumbs up, but it's all about wide leg. So I guess skinny jeans are out and like wide leg jeans are in and I, I love them. Like, and I, I think I want to get like, there's this cute like pink pair of like wide leg jeans from Zara that I want to get and I think I'm going to get them, but I have some last year from Zara that I love. They're really long. So if you want to get some from Zara, they're wide leg trouser. They're long, like you, if you're in like under 5'7", like I'm 5'7", and I feel like I have to wear them with a heel. Like I can't wear them with a sandal because they would drag. So just know that if you get them from somewhere like Zara, you're gonna have to get them like hemmed and cut. So it'll be a whole production. So the next thing that's trending for spring, of course, is denim. One thing I love about denim, it's like always in whatever season you're in. Um, you can get denim and you always look like you're in style. It's nothing wrong with it. I love it. Um, specifically like why I like denim jeans, just like I talked about. Um, wide leg, even they're doing like um, a lot of denim jumpsuits I'm seeing like when I'm shopping like I got a really cute one from Zara But definitely denim even denim jackets like oversized like boxy jackets are really trending um, for spring I love denim denim is one of my favorites. I just feel like you know lately like my jeans haven't been that comfortable but that's another story but definitely denim oversized denim jackets and things like that and then the next thing that's trending, I feel like it's just from the pandemic till now, like, you know, we're still here, but is loungewear, cute loungewear, like 
pajamas cute sets, um, comfortable jogger sets, and like really like elevating it and making it cute. Like, I never thought like in a million years that I would love like loungewear as much as I do now. Um, it's so comfortable, it's so cute, and I feel like a lot of times you can really elevate it and like and make it look really cute. So if you like that kind of pajama trend and you kind of want to do that into the summer, I got this one last year from Zara. It was the most comfortable thing I've ever owned. It's so comfortable, but it's still sleek, it's still pretty, but it still gives that loungewear look, but it's still, it's a vibe, you know? So that's definitely tre trending for spring. Um, as far as like the jogger sets, I know we're gonna approach where it gets a little too warm for it, but like I'm even into the ones with the shorts and like kind of like doing it up with like a blazer or something. Like, listen, I'm gonna elevate this loungewear and I'm gonna make it work for me. Um, but that's definitely gonna be trending for spring. So the last thing that I'm seeing trending for spring, it was kind of like, you know how you see something and you're just like, oh, I'm not sure how I kind of want to place that in my wardrobe, but it's a lot of sheerness going around. Like a lot of sheer tops, like like it being the color like this blue and it just being sheer and I'm like, um, I, do I wear my bra underneath? Like I don't want that vibe, but of course it'll be cute. Now that I've been thinking about it, I'm like, oh, that'll be cute. Like if you wear like a crop top underneath and like kind of have that over it, or even like if you have like a sheer kind of like, sheer like overall like kind of jacket kind of thing that's really cute too um but that's definitely um trending it's been all over the runways and that's really a cute it's definitely tr really trendy but it's really cute as well so definitely like check some of these trends out like i'm here for like my favorites i like the wide leg jeans um probably like kind of like the brights because i just love the brights i think that's really good and I, i'm here for the color blocking so i can't wait to really get into that so you guys let me know what you're looking forward to like wearing in the spring and what trend do you feel like is your vibe let me know in the comments i want to know but with all that being said definitely like when you're shopping for trends of course and buying trendy things it's important that you have like the essential things like you know like a, a leather jacket or an oversized um, denim jacket that's more your vibe and just kind of having essentials like your trench coat and things like that because then when you have your essentials and your basics you can pretty much wear whatever you want, but I would invest in those things first. But let me know what you guys think of everything that's trending in the comments. Um, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't. Um, and until next time, guys, be safe and be well. Bye.